Mr. Licata. Oh, oh. Mr. Licata. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Hector Cat Fried Eagles. Today is Friday, May 20th. I'm tired. <laughs> Very tired. So it is day two of our specials rotation. Welcome back. We missed y'all last night. Um, there was a long night on the roof, but we uh, we made it. We so, did it. Yep. We made it. So congratulations to you, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But right now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance as Ms. Brousseau's class introduces themselves and leads us. Shane, Sam, Connor, Aiden, Bella. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Here's what I found. All right, you may be seated. So we are back for our last day of teaching and learning here at Hector Cafrata Elementary School uh, for this week. For this week, We yes. still have two yep. more weeks left, right? And remember, Mr. Lakata has been talking about finishing the race strong. We're sprinting to the end. We're not going to stop, right? Yep, and I know that for most of you, testing is kind of finishing up. We're getting done right there. But we still have things we need to get done in that classroom. I know your That's teachers right. have some projects you're going to do. Yep. Which reports, like, you know, it is still finishing that school year strong. We're not done yet. That's right. right. That's right. Um, we have some birthdays. So, happy birthday to Derek Amador Cabot in grade two, Carlos Ledesma Camacho in grade one, Sophia Lucamuzzi in grade three. Happy birthday Saturday to Braden Klein in kindergarten, Annabelle Fernandez in grade three. Happy birthday Sunday to Jariana Rodriguez Mercado in grade three. Harley Simpkins in grade one. Happy birthday to all of you. All right. We hope that you all have a fantastic day. And guys, what's for lunch today? Today for lunch, we will have assorted fruit, baked beans, pizza, or a deli sandwich. All right. So pizza or a deli sandwich today. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you to our cafe staff um, for serving up all that delicious food. Um, teachers, I just want you to know that PE will be indoors for right now, um, unless the weather clears, but we still do have some lightning in the area, so we're going to play it a little cautious today. And so you will come to the um, cafeteria starting in the morning, and then fifth grade and first grade, you will be in the media center, unless you hear otherwise, and then we will communicate with you, because we're going to try to get outside if we can, but we'll see if we get any breaks in the weather. Yep. So there were no breaks in the weather this morning early. Not this morning. No. no. We, uh, we had to come off that roof, because uh, about, that, 4 .30, about that, that rain was coming down, yeah. and we... Um, we had to come on down. Yeah, a lot of lightning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I want to thank everybody who came out last night. It was so it that was, was fun. awesome. That it was, was fun. fun. We were up there right. dancing, playing music. The news was here. Yeah. And so it's all because of you, because you read 34 million words. You got a shirt right so there. Yeah. That's right. Yep. 30 million words read. And so, Mr. Ken, um, can you show us what, what, what was on the news? Right now, this Cape Coral principal is sleeping under the stars on the roof of Hector A. Cafarada Elementary School. NBC2's Hope Salman is at the school finding out why. Staff here at Hector Cafarada Junior Elementary School made a bargain. If students read more than 30 million words this semester, they would sleep on the roof. And the students held their end of the bargain. So tonight, so will the principal and vice principal. He seems safe, so that's good for them. I'll stay down here. Val Esquitine says she noticed major improvements in her second graders' grades since the challenge began. I don't even have to ask him to read anymore. He just does it by himself. So I'm like... She says she even started reading books again. We even got a library card. So I was like, you know what, why not? Let me grab a book. The principal says they wanted to challenge their students to read more. So they asked teachers to give less homework and more time to meet reading goals. The first semester, the students read 24 million words. This semester, they exceeded the goal of 30 million words. They go on to a program, they take that assessment test, and then depending on their score, there's how many words account for that book. 
So if they get 100%, they get all the words for that book. If they get 90%, they'll get 90% of the words for that book. To celebrate, the staff invited students and parents to dance and celebrate outside the school Thursday night. It also gives working moms time to actually show up. The principal and vice principal say they're prepared for a night with the stars. They say they'll be working in pajamas on Friday. In Cape Coral, Hope Salmon, NBC2. Oh. All right, so what an awesome, so awesome. People are talking about Hector Cafferata. I yep. love that. So warms our heart congratulations there, yeah. to all of you. We are so proud of the work that you did. Um, fantastic, fantastic. So keep up the good work. And remember, you can read over the summer, too. Continue reading. That's We're not right. stopping. Yeah. That's right. And don't forget, if you haven't already, to sign up for our expanded learning over the yep. summer, too. And classrooms that are recognized for top word counts, most improved, it's an email to you. Unfortunately, we cannot go on the roof this morning, but Dr. Chris and I will be buying our PJs and we'll throw our little treats out to them in the classroom. Yep. So we'll so be, we'll by, be by to see you, okay? All right. And it's Friday, so no Friday okay. is complete without a call in and win. So if you know who this is, please dial extension 208. Ooh, I don't know. Have a guess, Miss mm. Osberg. Do you have a guess? Yep, I do. Oh, she does. <laughs> Good morning. You're on the air. Who's this? Yeah. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, who does your class think it is? Miss Smith. It is not Miss Smith. Sorry. Oh, that was my guess. Yeah. Good morning. You're on the air. Who's this? <laughs> we had a hang up. Good morning. You're on the air. Who's this? Mr. Hernandez in kindergarten, we think it's Miss Stroop. It is Miss Stroop! Oh. Congratulations! Congratulations to Miss Hernandez in kindergarten. Nice. It is Miss Stroop. Oh, so it. now I, I see, see the resemblance. Yep, so congratulations to Miss Hernandez. Everybody else today, you're a winner because you read 34 million words and we're so proud of you. Don't forget to be respectful, be responsible, be ready to learn. But most importantly, remember what, friends? Smiles are free. Smiles are free. So share one with a friend. Happy Friday, everyone.